Hello from the South Station Acela Lounge in Boston, Massachusetts. This is apparently a trip report. He doesn't have duration or expertise, and he's not like Paul or Jeb who can do this with ease. And now it's apparently too late to afford, so it's apparently a trip report. I originally booked the Acela for $4 more than the regional, but I also have some free upgrade coupons. So I thought, let's try out first class. This is the lounge. Um, I've done a full review of this in uh, my Northeast Quarter video, which I'll link up here. I really appreciate the free pretzels, even if it's rolled gold instead of Snyder's, you know. It's free, you take what you can get. So remember at the Philly Lounge where they had direct elevators down to the track that gave you priority boarding? And it didn't make a lot of sense there because a lot of trains just run through, so you're just waiting on the platform. But here, this is the first stop, so priority boarding would be really useful you have to get onto the train. But they don't really do that, they just kind of tell you, hey, the train's gonna be boarding soon and it's on this track. I guess the implication is that, oh, well, they haven't announced it's on track five yet, but I can go to track five and be ready. It seems like some other people got the memo that the is on track five. I wonder if these are also first class passengers or if they just kind of knew. First class, right up front. The seats seem to be similar or the same as the um, business class seats on Acela. Um, I got this nice table one, mostly because I wanted to do one of the um, alone seats. Um, that's one of the nice things about first class, that they have a one, two configuration so you can sit alone. Although I guess we'll see if someone ends up here. If there wasn't when I selected the seat this morning. Here's the menu. So that's the big thing with first class, you get free meals. Well, at least one free meal. We'll see if we can get more. I gotta say, having been on long distance Amtrak, this menu is noticeably more pretentious. Like, so much stuff with each thing. I will say, if someone sits here, the legroom won't be quite as good, but it's worth knowing that the regular legroom isn't that huge either. And once you ride coach class in like Western Amtrak, it's just everything else feels tiny in comparison. These snacks came in a nice Acela bowl, plus Fiji water, which is fancy. This must be like Chex Mix or something. I don't know what snacks are. I checked the seat map again, and it looks like the seat's not gonna be occupied, so I'm putting my bag there. We are off. The best thing about a cell in general is just the massive windows compared to the regionals. Like that, you can see they give me more snacks. <laughs> There's an attendant in first class you're kind of waited on, which is really nice. You don't have to leave your seat. I think you get free alcoholic beverages on here. If I drink, that'd be huge value, but it's just Fiji water for me. But that, that, that's, that's a perk, that's a perk. A couple nice sell things that aren't exclusive to first class, but are certainly very nice perks in general about the service, is that the Wi-Fi is noticeably better than the regional, and the ride quality is better than the regional. As many of you probably know, Acela is America's only true high-speed rail line, even though it's slow for a lot of it. But right now, we should be going at our fastest speed. We're pulling out of Providence, our one stop in Rhode Island. The next stop after this is New Haven, which is 80 minutes away. It's a super long express section. Some of it will be fast, and some of it will unfortunately be slow. Okay, the big proper meal is one thing, but silverware, actual silverware and a cloth napkin, that is luxury. Perhaps not high speed at the moment. Nature alone is antique and the oldest art a mushroom. If you know what the heck that means, let me know. London Station is on a curve anyway, so expressing through it is not quite as exciting. Wow, this bathroom is big and fancy. Made to New Haven. Bridgeport, another station whose curve necessitates expressing through it kind of slowly and thus lowering the excitement level. Made to Stamford, running about 12 minutes late, but I'm kind of okay with it. It's more time in first class, it's nice. Just got a hot towel for maximum fanciness. Also, we are coming fast into New York, and it's out of focus. All right, we've just tried New York. 
as you can imagine, a decent amount of people are getting out. Um, we've also clawed back the time. We're like right on time now. Okay, we've gotten a third water bottle and a third snack bowl. Heck yeah. Yep, we're in a cellar that stops at Metro Park. That's a thing. Peek at a flight. Peek at a flight. So, that was a cell of first class from Boston to Philadelphia. Overall, good experience. I really enjoyed it, but is it worth 150 plus dollars? We'll go to our correspondent to find out. Thanks, Miles. So I'm coming into this review with a perspective that I haven't really seen a lot on YouTube when it comes to the Acela, and that's a cost-conscious one. Because I already think the Acela as a product is kind of a rip-off compared to the Northeast Regional. You're often paying more than double the cost for at most an hour in savings, but Acela First Class is often over $120 more than the Acela Business Class. So what do you get for that extra $120 plus dollars? Well, the biggest thing is the meal, which was very nice. And I liked how it came on silverware with a napkin and everything. But I was sad I didn't get offered a second one after New York. I didn't ask, but I also didn't want to impose. I wasn't sure if it, that's a standard thing, but you would think it would be for riding the train that long. Also, lounge access is a big perk. I mean, it's fine. I don't know, like the lounges are the lounges. I don't think they're worth that much money. It's just like a place to wait and I don't like to show up for the train early. The one-two configuration of the first class car is nice. That means that you can sit alone. You just have to make sure that there are seats available. I got lucky and picked the last one. Other than that, free alcoholic beverages, that's a huge perk. And I guess an attendant, which is fine, but I don't mind getting up from my seat. So it's not something I would spend extra money for. Overall, a Acela First Class as a product is just not as nice as Amtrak wants us to think it is. So I don't see myself riding First Class again unless I have an upgrade coupon. If you have money to throw around, you might find it to be a more valuable product than I did. You could maybe try for a poor bid. In case you don't know, I'm referring to Amtrak's program that lets you place a bid for a better seat. In this case, the lowest bid was 100 bucks, which is still too much. Overall, considering the cost, I have to give Acela First Class two snack mixes that may or may not be Chex Mix, but I can't really tell out of 10.